After Travis Scott didn't release a single yesterday on Friday, July 14th, which would have been the last Friday, before the alleged release of Utopia on the 21st, a lot of us are asking ourselves, is there going to be a single? Is there going to be no single for Utopia? Today, I'm going to go into three different ways this could play out and maybe why he didn't release a single. So let's jump straight into this. If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. Real quick, if you don't want to listen to this, make sure to skip 10 seconds into the future, but you can now sign up for my free newsletter with the first link in the description. It comes every Sunday, so tomorrow the next one, and it details everything that's been going on hip hop over the past week, so make sure to do that. So Travis is apparently dropping Utopia next Friday on the 21st of July. We've gotten this info over a couple of sources like Tariq from Rolling Loud saying that you Rolling Loud Miami will be the first show after Utopia drops and he's performing at Rolling Loud Miami. So Travis on July 22nd. Also Rolling Loud has made ads with this where they're basically saying, you know, that Utopia, this is the first so that Utopia is going to be performed live. And also Mike Dean confirmed this on Threads. So we're basically, a lot of us are pretty sure that is going to be the 21st. So why didn't he release a single so far? Well, three options, and we're going to talk about the first one now. So the first option is actually, and I don't want to fuel any more speculations because all the comments are already full of those, but that Utopia is not dropping on the 21st, but rather on the 28th. The 28th is also the day that Travis is performing at the pyramids in Egypt as the official launch party for Utopia. Now, a lot of people have made a lot of different comments about this launch party. For example, a launch party is usually after an album drops, a listening party would be on the day it drops. He did the same thing for Astroworld in 2018, which was a couple of days after the release. You might remember the pictures of those. So the launch party in Egypt wouldn't make sense if he drops the same day because none of the people attending know the words to the songs yet or know the songs yet. And he's likely going to be performing live there. So that is still a mystery that is unsolved. But that opens up a possibility if it only drops on the 28th that a single could be dropping still next Friday, the 21st, which we so far thought was the release day for the whole album. That is the first theory. Now let's talk about the second one. The second one is that we're not going to get a single at all. We've gotten that dystopia EP with Mafia and Escape Plan and that came in 2021 at the end of 2021 with the Astroworld Festival incident of course and that served as the dystopia part to Utopia now dropping. That is kind of generally accepted now. There's not going to be a double album, no dystopia mixtape before Utopia is generally accepted that that was the dystopia part and now we're in Utopia, that those served as the singles, quote unquote. Also, he didn't have a single for Astroworld. Butterfly Effect dropped, I think, over three months in advance. So that wasn't really a single that dropped in the weeks prior to the release. But at least with Butterfly Effect, he had a single that was kind of carrying the whole rollout and kind of played into the first week sales as well. And he doesn't have that with this album, which could impact the first week numbers because people don't have a song they could stream a whole week before the release. Now, what is kind of speaking for this is that a lot of people have been saying Travis wants you to experience this project in its entirety. He doesn't want to give away any of the features. Maybe he's doing hidden features again, which I would absolutely love. So he wants you to experience this thing first time in its entirety with no single beforehand. He knows he's going to sell a lot, especially with the pre-orders with the merch now. So that is accounted for. So he could have the entire creative freedom to let the people without a single experience the entire thing. Probably a hit song is going to come out of this album. It's a Travis Scott album. We got Sicko Mode last time. So likely something, a hit song is going to come. And so he doesn't need a single for this. That is the second theory. Now we're going to talk about the third one. The third one is actually something that I think is going to be very likely. It's kind of connected to the second one. But with Astroworld, he dropped the trailer for the album on the Monday of the week of the release. So I think the album dropped August 3rd and the trailer was released on July 30th. And if you remember the Astroworld trailer, we heard stargazing in that one, even though only the first part before the beat switch, but still stargazing was in that trailer. We could hear that as a 
snippet even maybe even you could call it a single and the single obviously didn't release on dsps or anywhere else but it was still kind of there and i think that this is actually a route that he could take with utopia again there is the possibility of him dropping a trailer and it's kind of confirmed that there is going to be a trailer because kind of the whole theme of looking for utopia in all these different places is it in the bank is it in the liquor store is it in the chateau all kind of you know representing different ways of people finding peace with money luxury lifestyle or alcohol and also him traveling around the world and spray painting utopia on walls we've had a theory that the trailer is going to feature him looking for utopia in different places and then finding it maybe in the briefcase maybe in the music so that could leave us with the possibility that something is going to come in the trailer that is maybe going to be dropping on Monday if he does follow the same route as he did with Astroworld. I do think we're going to get a trailer. If we're going to get some sort of snippet in there, it's still up for the bait. But it could definitely be could definitely be something. Now, obviously, you could also talk about what the single could be. I think the single most, no pun intended, the single most likely thing that fans are speculating about is Lost Forever. Lost Forever was previewed a while ago, has been a fan favorite, a grail for some time. And um, you know, we've we've gotten hints here and there that this could be a single. The title could also, you know, refer to the whole theme of looking for Utopia, searching for it, but he's lost forever, so he can't seem to find it. I think that's a pretty interesting theory, but Lost Forever is the number one candidate so far. Maybe we'll get it in the trailer or something else is still to come. Now, I still believe it's going to be dropping on the 21st because all the evidence is pointing towards that right now. But the fact that we didn't get a single is pretty interesting. And honestly, I will be completely fine with no single. We could just jump into this album, no single needed, and just enjoy it in its entirety because we know it's only going to be under an hour and 14 minutes, I believe. If you don't know why, you can watch the past videos in the playlist because of the CD runtime and stuff like that. So that means maybe we don't even need a single if it's 15 to 18 new tracks that we can enjoy. Let me know what y'all think about this though. Do you think we need a single for Utopia? Which of the three theories do you think Travis will adhere to and will actually turn into action when it comes to the rollout of this thing? Man, we're looking forward to a, to a great week when it comes to Utopia. I think the Utopia content that I'm going to be making is going to be a lot because we're going to be receiving so much new info. So make sure you stay subscribed if you don't want to miss out on that. Also on friday we're of course going to be going live on twitch to be listening to the album so make sure you also follow me on twitch it's in the description to not miss out on that as well so i hope to see you all there and for now let me know all your theories on a single no single what could the single be in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.